Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We got this loading screen today, which told us what's coming on Friday, and that is the Headliners promo. It is actually going to be coming out before Team of the Year this year, and that's crazy because the past couple years it has been after Team of the Year. So we're going to talk about today what this means for the game, what I think is going to be happening in the next couple days. Look at a prediction, of course, as well for some cards that could get head headliners. And we're going to take a look at some of the past headliners teams because this is a promo, historically, that EA dropped some big cards in. Last year, we had a center attacking with Neymar. We had a Sun two years ago. We had Pugba two years ago. So we're going to look at both of the squads from the past two years, FIFA 19 and FIFA 20. And just to kind of think about, um, you know, th this promo is a big one because EA is going to go all out with it, I think. And I'm wondering if EA is seeing this as an opportunity to rinse out saved up packs and um, try to deplete I guess maybe somehow deplete coins or get people to, I guess maybe maybe scratch some more dollars out of the FIFA user base uh, before Team of the Year actually comes out. And it's, again, just so interesting how we haven't had anything related to Team of the Year um, just yet. So, again, we'll take another, another look at this loading screen. It's rewards day as well, so hopefully we'll see a, a decent market rise. A lot of stuff is already up on the market. With the new team of the week coming out today, that caused some market movements. Uh, we'll, we'll be speaking about those as well. But it looks like a lot of people are investing for rewards today. So we'll kind of speak on that rise that we've seen already. But this loading screen they put out today, I was kind of laughing about it on stream when it first came out. Because it's literally the simplest loading screen they could have done. It literally looks like they spent five minutes using their uh, soccer net, football, sorry, football net background. And they just put headliners in the middle. It looks really, really simple. I would expect that loading screen to be updated today at 6 p.m. UK with the content drop uh, because um, I think they might drop the car design and maybe they'll do a little bit of a hint situation uh, with the car design and with maybe players that are coming out on tomorrow on Friday because this is a Friday promo or starting the new year off with a promo, uh, which is which is kind of interesting, right? January 1st, 2021, we are going to be starting a promo Starting 2021 off right. So we're going to talk about some of this stuff. I want to take a look at a prediction because I think this prediction is pretty accurate. This is by Elitist Design and Harrison. I'm going to put the link to this description down in or the link to this prediction down in the description so you guys can check it out and show these guys some love because this is an incredible prediction in my opinion. I think it's spot on, right? Tavernier, two informs. Hernandez, Teo Hernandez, two informs. Milinkovic Savage has got two informs. Sun has got an inform. Lozano has got three. So again, what this headliners promo is, is they're putting out players that have done so well this year so far, and they're giving them basically a headliners card, which is going to stay. It's going to be the best version of each player throughout the rest of this game, unless they get some type of promo card that is not performance-based, upgrade-related, and then it will not upgrade this one. But again, an, a Sun, like Sun could very easily get in this. That could be like one of their marquee players they put in this promo. Uh, Lozano could be a big one. Zaha, Holland, Benzema, of course, big name players that could be in this promo. I think this is pretty spot on though, right? A lot of these players, I think, um, are very viable to get in because of the clubs, right? And we, t we talked about this in the video yesterday that a lot of the players they put in these promos, again, they focus on the main teams because those are the, the biggest teams in the world, PSG, Bayern, Man U, Man City, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Those are the most popular teams. Those are the players that people, that have the biggest fan bases inside of the world, right? And inside of this game and players that like those teams want to go buy those players, right? That's why they're not releasing like a full Granada and Villarreal, uh, like all those players in packs all at once because those don't sell packs, right? And this is for EA. So that's why you see, I think this is a good prediction for that matter. We have a really nice mix of players in here that have performed really well in real life. And also a couple players are in this prediction. Like Sun only has one in form, right? But it's Chun Min Sun. He's a FIFA fan favorite. He's Tottenham. He's, you know, I think he's in the top two or top three in the Premier League and goals scored. So technically he is in a good run of form. Just doesn't have that many special cards. Um, and he also sells some packs. So I think this is a great prediction. There's some cards in here that I think would be pretty dope. Sun, of course, Kempembe would be big for this game because, again, we have another 
SBC uh, yesterday with Ben Arfa and the base and mid icon, which we have to talk about that. But Ben Arfa is a card that I think a lot of people are doing. Another League One special card being put out in this game, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Bamba in here as well. That could be a big game changer. Watkins is a Premier League striker. Uh, Grealish even would be pretty dope. And then, of course, we haven't talked about Zaha. I feel like Zaha is a lock. Uh, for a headliner. So I think this is a really good prediction and I think that's kind of spot on with what you would th what you would see. Now if we take a look at the past 2 years, there was only one squad in FIFA 19, but it had Werner, Son, Royce, Pogba, Sané, big name players, right? Big Usman Dembélé, Rashford on the, on the bench. Lozano had one 2 years ago, uh and then that was the year that Pepe uh was at Lille and he was tearing it up. But I think uh, that if you look at the past few years, like Headliners to a uh, one squad, Headliners 2 was also pretty good. But again, last year you had Lewandowski, Neymar, Varane, Salah, Walker, right? Vardy, Semedo. A lot of big name players get in these promos. And this is why I think we're going to talk about this tomorrow, especially. But during those first couple hours when the lightning rounds are out, uh, the first hour when these cards come into packs on Friday, the new year, um, big promos start the new year. I don't think that. People have been saving up packs. I don't think they're going to be able to hold them and not open those packs. So we'll talk about what market movements that could bring uh, tomorrow on Friday. But I'm expecting a big, uh, I'm expecting a big promo, big players, and honestly, just good stuff from EA, right? Because you know, some people were talking about it today in the live stream. EA got rid of Scream. They got rid of Footmas. They better not be chopping Team of the Year. I really hope they're not chopping Team of the Year by putting this Headliners promo in. But we have had no communication. A lot of us are just sitting here like, where is Team of the Year, man? So hopefully we get some communication on that as well. Um, but for now, at least, Headliners is our main, main focus. So again, Let's take a step back. What is going to happen today on the market on Thursday? Well, I was not expecting big days on the market in terms of content, but yesterday EA said, we're going to make it a big day. They dropped a Hatem Benarfa, of course, a FIFA fan favorite legend, five-star skills, four-star weak foot, a really nice card. Again, French links, 200,000 coins. I think a lot of people are doing this one just because it's semi-valuable and it fits in a lot of people's teams and these five-star skills. And it's a solid looking card, right? And he's, of course, if you're somebody who has played FIFA for a while, you know this guy had some pretty OP cards. I think it was FIFA 13. This guy had a really, really OP card. And then they dropped a base or mid icon upgrade, non-repeatable. I'm, I'm getting the feeling that this is going to be that first base icon SBC all over again, right? They're, they're dropping it non-repeatable for six days. They're letting it sit. They're probably going to pull it away. They're probably going to release it again. Right, and the value of this SBC. This is earlier today when this first came out. It was 480k to do the to do the base or mid one time non-repeatable icon upgrade, and then you have the base icon upgrade that is still out in the game right now. This one right here, they cost 525, 530k. So there was like a 40, 50k difference right away between this SBC and between the base or mid, which is kind of crazy that you could get a mid icon from an SBC that was technically cheaper than just the base icon upgrade. But I do think people did this SBC today. Again, it's just draining coins off the market. That's what the the, the foot freeze party bag that came out on um, that came out on Monday. It was kind of the same scenario, right? It was kind of the same scenario as in EA was dropping that SBC to kind of suck coins off of the game. Now, one thing I think we could see today is another party bag. Since this one expires at 6 p.m., I would not be surprised if EA put out a third foot freeze party bag today on Thursday. That could be our content for today. That might drop the market a little bit. But as we have seen, we haven't really seen a lot of panic selling since this loading screen came out. I'm going to show you the graphs right now. I really feel like people just aren't as scared of loading screens as they used to be, especially as generic as that one as we got today. It literally gives us no information. I was taking a look at the index special. A lot of informs are kind of just up, right? The whole index special market is just kind of up. And I think that is due to uh, people just investing in stuff before rewards. Last week, there weren't a lot of people investing for weekend league rewards. And this week, it seems like there are. The icon market, again, was sold off a little bit after 6 p.m. because of the base or mid SBC. But then it rebounded and there's really not been any more panic selling. It's just continued to rise back up even after the loading screen came out two hours after the content dropped. So uh, seeing that kind of stuff just tells me and shows me that the loading screens don't have quite the impact that they used to have. Now, of course, 86s went for a ride today. Market was at 287 points. 
boom, the base or mid comes out, it goes to 335. Now they're kind of falling back down. And, and a lot of these, um, a lot of this SBC fodder has trickled back down, but it did spike up big time today. I, I'm pretty sure these 87s were all down in like the 29,000 coin range before today. And uh, now they're up in the 34, 35K range. So a lot of big, if you, if you still had fodder for some reason in your club, you definitely made some money today because I don't think a lot of people were buying this in the last day or two to see a rise like this. I don't think they were really expecting that sort of SBC to come out today. Now, again, with rewards today, um, I I still like this low end range, right? I still like the low end range of cards that we were buying earlier this week out of packs in forums and special cards from the Premier League, from good nations, good leagues, and stuff that went up last week, right? Usable players that are in that low tier range because we still have team of the year. And of course, that kind of era and that kind of stuff is on our minds, right? These Jotas, I think these Andres and these Kamaras might be a little bit overinvested. I'm going to check their prices right now on Footbin. Um, this Benjamin Andre, I know a lot of people are investing in him. That does not make me like it. He's 63, 64,000 coins. You might not see a huge rise on both of these two guys. You know, you, you think that you would, but it might not be a huge rise after rewards because so many people have bought these cards up and invested in them. Last week, they did very well. And I think it was just because um, not as many people invested last week and uh, they went kind of booming. But this week, after they had a huge rise last week, you know, I don't think you're going to see that great of a rise. So they've, they're already up a decent amount. Like that Camaro was 10K cheaper earlier this week. Um, I was talking about this Pepe card who I recommended in my Thursday flipping video as an investment. Uh, but this dude just keeps going up, right? He's 54,000 coins, I believe at the moment, which he was, he's even more than that now, man. Wow. Yeah. He's 55, 54,000 coins. He was 48 K earlier this week. I bought a, a decent amount of him. Same thing with Diogo Jota. He was like 65 K. I even had a couple that were less than that. And I believe now he is up over 70,000 coins. Yeah, 71K. Ooh, 68. Uh, you know, I'll leave that sit there, man, because uh, if Footbin would catch that, I might be able to get some snipes at like 65 if there's any sales uh, around this. So I, I will sit here and hope that Footbin catches that. And I only have six, I only have 153K to my name as well. So there's not a lot of profit in that for an immediate flip. So I'm going to let that sit just in case. But that kind of stuff, we're already starting to see a market rise. Some of these earlier informs, right? First informs Zaha, somebody who I flipped last week for a really nice profit from like 127 to 140. He's kind of chilling at 136. Again, if you're on rewards tonight, I'm posting this video right before rewards. If you're going to be awake for rewards, watch open bids like this Zaha right here, right? The first one with a cheeky start price of 126. It's late night. Bids are really, really good. That's where I've been finding a lot of my deals lately is open bids. I do think there's going to be some deals you can find pre rewards to see a little nice spike after that. Now, Team of the Week is something I did want to cover because I did not talk about that yet. Uh, team of the Week 14 came out today. Uh, and we had some players that were in this Team of the Week that I don't think we were really expecting. They gave Rashford a Team of the Week. I don't think we were expecting that one. Langley, maybe. Cancelo got a right mid card. Um, this one, again, I was talking about this on stream. If you remember the right mid Cancelo inform that came out in FIFA 19, for uh, he got a right mid position change instead of a right back, and that card flew later on in the year. I think this right mid Cancelo is going to have its place again because of his links to Bernardo Silva, uh, because of his links to Bruno Fernandes, two Portuguese players in the Prem, very hyped up. This guy might find his place in like a 3 5 2 formation at some point this year um, or in the next couple of weeks, honestly. So keep an eye on this guy. And of course, as we always do, we keep an eye on these players at rewards because a lot of stuff gets packed because people open their team in the week packs, right? Even though people will be probably saving packs that they get today from rewards that happen in a couple hours, um, people are probably going to be saving those actual packs, the tradable or untradable packs from rivals and champs. People might be saving those because of the new promo coming out or they're adding to their team of the year pack stash. But you know, those team of the week packs, people are probably ripping those just because they can't hold on to them too much longer. They hope to, of course, pack a Rashford, uh, but Rashford's really the only card of much value inside of this team of the week. It's not a really good week for a team of the week pack, to be completely honest. There's a few guys in the 100K range, but still, 
Um, you know, watch these guys during rewards because they will get supplied. They will bounce back. French center back Langley, he had 150,000 coins earlier today. That was just too cheap. He rebounded back to almost 170 where he is right now. If this goes back down to like 140, you know, you're definitely watching that for a rebound. Rashford will probably rebound from where he hits a low during rewards. I think Denayer will rebound. He is This card is going to be something to watch and something to trade with because there's not too many center backs in the league on except for Kempembe. Um, this card, I think, is pretty good in game two. His 82, I've heard some good stuff about. Um, Luis Muriel could be interesting. Casemiro might bounce a little bit. I have this. I have my eye on Mike Magnan for like more of a discard investment as a French goalkeeper. That's like a discard investment that should do really well if he does get to discard. And then, of course, there's this Carrasco who is technically has a 150,000 coin price range, which by the way, if you're trying to search for this Carrasco, here's a little trick, right? You go team of the week, the lower tier to Carrasco has a max price range, I think of 95,000 coins. So the 84, the max price range is 95K. So if you search minimum buy now of 95.5, you should be able to see when this other Carrasco pops up. I think this Carrasco, even though it's a very good looking card, the 84 Carrasco is on the market right now at like 35,000 coins. And I think a lot of people are expecting this guy to bounce back up today, which he already has, right? He was down 34,000-ish coins. It looks like he's back up a few K. Three, 4,000 coins already up on this card. Um, I think he's going to do pretty well because people are now drawn to the Carrasco. And this is what happens, right? When a card comes out that is very expensive, the lower tier inform for that item usually does very well on Thursday flipping. So I'm... I might snag one of these. If I can get one at 34, I would snag one of these Carrascos because with the 86 being, in my opinion, overpriced and almost extinct, he shouldn't be extinct, right? Now, the 86 will be packed today at rewards. It will drop down and probably rebound after that like most Team League cards do because that's, honestly, if we do a quick hype check on the Team of the Week, this Carrasco card, 1,200 thumbs up. That's probably one of the most thumbs up we have, right? 460 thumbs up for Langley. What about for Rashford? 1,700 thumbs up. So Rashford and Carrasco, in my opinion, would be the two most hyped up players from this team of the week. What's Lautaro at, right? I think Lautaro has no hype because he's a left forward, but it's these two guys in the team of the week that are most hyped up. So I would expect them to get low with team of the week pack supply during rewards and then rebound 100% for sure. So again, today's an interesting day on the market. Again, I don't think there's going to be big content coming at 6 p.m., uh, the only thing that could be big content that would affect the market a bit would be a um, another party bag SBC. But I honestly plan to hold all of my flips through today on Thursday through the 6 p.m. content and sell most of them on Friday morning because that is when some stuff continues to rise. Now, if I feel like there's over investing, one thing you can do on Thursdays is watch the market for over investing and that everybody, a lot of people are worried about loading screens that come out on Thursdays and panic that ensues because of that. You, what you might be able to find today is a card that rises up right after rewards. And then of course, people who invested in that card start listing and it drops back down. You might have another opportunity to buy in and watch that card if it's an out of packs in form, a rare card, rise up even further into Friday morning or rise back to where it was. So watch the freeze items. Bernardo Silva was 550 today. He's back to 593. Some of the freeze items have bounced back very well. Uh, uh, Chiellini was like 190. He's now 202. You know, team of the group stage items have even bounced today. Um, Taylor Hernandez was like 188. He's now 200. Rashford's, oh yeah, we got to look at this man. Rashford team of the group stage was down at like 930. He's back to 990K. And the 86 Rashford striker, um, the first inform Rashford was down to a, what was it? 570K, 560. And now he's back to 590. So that was a nice rebound on some of these. If you did get involved, you might make a little bit of profit. I kind of expect these cards to keep going up after rewards, both of the Rashfords, just because they're uh, position changes and that's valuable, right? Of course, chemistry and stuff going on in this game, very, very important for people to link stuff together. All right, last thing real quickly. I know this video has kind of been just like uh, all over the place with all the content that came out. We know Headliners is coming now. I want to look at uh, La Liga Player of the Month because we do have a new vote that is out for La Liga Player of the Month. And these are your nominees right here. You have Benzema, Iago Aspas, Messi. He was behind my camera. You can't see him. Messi, Mario Hermoso, Kunde, Gerard Moreno, 
and Antiveros. And I think people are saying that Benzema should be winning the six games, four goals to assist. Aspas, four goals, four assists. That's some pretty good stats. Um, the other guys that are in here, I don't know what Kunde would be doing for, as a defender because usually we look at goals and assists for player of the month. But honestly, it's still a popularity contest for a lot of these cards. Does Messi win? I don't think so. You know, probably Aspas or probably Benzema, I would have to imagine, win this one. So get your votes in. That voting did open up. Joao Felix's SBC is expiring soon, but I just wanted to kind of make that known because that vote is open right now. So you can go ahead and vote for your player of the month. But interesting Thursday, right? Day before a promo. Hopefully we see a nice market rise. I feel like there is a bit of over-investing on some cards right now. A lot more people are buying up this week. But I do still think we'll see a market rise in some areas. It'll be a decent day to mess around. If SBC fodder drops a lot during rewards, if EA cranks up the pack weight during rewards, definitely keep an eye on that. 84s, 85s, 86s, 87s maybe. Because if they do release another party bag, um, you could make that gamble, I guess, a little bit. And some people might be waiting until after rewards to do Ben Arfa or to do uh, the... Um, to do the base or mid icon because they think that those prices will drop then. So just keep an eye on that. You might see some fluctuation with those cards as well. But if you enjoyed this video today, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.